Welcome to another video. In this video, we are going to answer another set of questions from Metrobank MTAP Math Challenge 2019 Elimination Round for Grade 8 and we are going to explain in details how to get the answer on each question. On number 1, find the next two terms of the elements of the sequence 1, 8, 19, 32, and 49. Since the given sequence is an example of Fibonacci sequence, to find the next two terms, we are going to have 1, 8, 19, 32, and 49. So we are looking for the next two terms in the given sequence. So to find the next two terms, we are going to get the difference of 8 and 1, and that is 7. And then 19 minus 8, that is 11. And then 32 minus 19, that is 13. And then 49 minus 32, that is 17. So as you can see, the difference of 11 and 7, that is 4. And the difference of 13 and 11, that is 2. And the difference of 17 and 13, that is 4. So as you can see, we have 4, 2, 4. So using this pattern, we can find the next two terms. So therefore, the next difference will be 2. So we are going to have 17 plus 2, it will give us 19. So to find the next term after 49, that is 49 plus 19, that is 68. And then, since we have 4, 2, 4, 2, we are going to have 4, and 19 plus 4, that is 23. And to find the last term, 68 plus 23, that is 91. So therefore, the next two terms in the given sequence will be 68 and 91. And this will be our answer. For number 2, factor completely. 49x square minus 4y square. So how can we factor completely the given expression? As you can see, 49x square and negative 4y square is a perfect square. It is written in the form of a square minus b square. And we all know that a square minus b square, that is a plus b multiplied by a minus b. That is the sum and difference of the same term. So to factor completely the given expression, let us have 49x squared minus 4y squared. So the square root of 49x squared, that is 7x. And the square root of 4y squared, that is 2y. So we are going to have 7x plus 2y multiplied by 7x minus 2y. So this will be our answer. On number 3, simplify 5 raised to n plus 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 5 raised to n. So how can we simplify the given expression? So since the greatest common factor of the given expression is 5 raised to n, we are going to have 5 raised to n, and then 5 raised to n divided by 5 raised to n, that is 1. And then, same thing with 5 raised to n is also 1. So we are going to have 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. All we have to do is to divide 5 raised to n on each term of the expression. So to simplify, let us have 5 raised to n. And let us add this one. It will give us 5. And we all know that 5 is being raised by 1. So since we have the same base, let us copy the base. That is 5. And then raise to n plus 1. So this will be our answer. For number 4, write the lowest term without 0 or negative exponents of a raised to 2p plus 3 multiplied by b raised to p plus 5 all over a raised to 2p minus 3 multiplied by b raised to p minus 1. 
So to simplify this one, we are going to use the property of the loop exponent, which is a raised to n over a raised to m. If we have the same base, we are going to copy the base, and then we are going to subtract the exponent, that is a raised to n minus m. So to simplify, we are going to have a as the base raised to 2p plus 3 minus 2p minus 3 multiplied by b raised to p plus 5 minus p minus 1. So to simplify, let us write a as the base and then 2p plus 3. Let us distribute the negative sign. That is negative 2p plus 3. And then we are going to have b raised to p plus 5. Let us distribute the negative sign. Minus p plus 1. So to simplify, let us have a as the base. Let us cancel 2p. And let's add 3 plus 3, that is 6. Multiply by b, let us cancel p. 5 plus 1, that is 6. So therefore, our final answer is a raised to 6, b raised to 6. And this will be our answer. On number 5, reduce to lowest term the expression 2x squared plus 3x plus 1 all over the quantity of 2x plus 3 multiplied by the quantity of x plus 1. So to simplify the given expression, we need to factor the numerator, and that is 2x squared plus 3x plus 1. If we are going to factor this one, we are going to have 2x plus 1 multiplied by x plus 1. If you are going to multiply this one, you are going to have 2x squared plus 3x plus 1. So let us have 2x plus 1 multiplied by x plus 1 over 2x plus 3 multiplied by x plus 1. So we are going to cancel x plus 1. So therefore, we, are we have 2x plus 1 over 2x plus 3. And this will be our answer. On number 6, perform the indicated operation and simplify x cubed over x squared minus x minus 2 multiplied by x squared plus x minus 6 all over x squared plus 3x. So as you can see, the given operation is multiplication. And whenever we multiply fraction, we are going to have a over b multiplied by c over d. It will give us ac over pd. We are going to multiply numerator to numerator and denominator to denominator. So to simplify, let us have x cubed over, since x square minus x minus 2 is factorable, therefore let us find the factors of x square minus x minus 2. So the factors of x square, that is x and x, and what are the two numbers? If we multiply, we can get negative 2. And if we add, we can get negative 1. And that is negative 2 and positive 1. So let us have here x minus 2 times x plus 1. Multiply by x squared plus x minus 6. So we have x squared plus x minus 6. So let us find the factors of this expression. So the factors of x squared, that is x and x. And what are the two numbers? If we multiply, we can get negative 6. And if we add, we can get positive 1. And that is positive 3 and negative 2. So let us have x plus 3 multiplied by x minus 2. And also, x squared plus 3x is also factorable. So the greatest common factor of x squared and 3x, that is x. And then x squared divided by x, that is x. And then 3x divided by x, that is 3. So therefore, let us write x times x 
plus 3. So let us simplify. Let us multiply numerator to numerator, denominator to denominator. Let us just write everything on the numerator and denominator. Let's have x cubed multiplied by x plus 3 times x minus 2 all over x minus 2 x plus 1 times x multiplied by x plus 3. So we can cancel x plus 3 and x minus 2 and also x and x cubed. So x become 1 and x cubed becomes x square. So therefore, our final answer will be x square over x plus 1. And this should be our answer. On number 7, the conversion formula from Celsius to Fahrenheit is Fahrenheit equals 9 over 5 Celsius plus 32. Solve the equation for C. So the fastest way to answer this question, if you memorize the formula for Celsius, you just write the formula for Celsius and that will be the answer. But in this case, if you forget the formula for Celsius, you are going to express this equation in terms of C. So let us have Fahrenheit equals 9 over 5 Celsius plus 32. So the first step is we are going to move 32 to the side of Fahrenheit, and that is Fahrenheit minus 32 equals 9 over 5 Celsius. And to eliminate a denominator, let us multiply the whole equation by 5. Let us cancel this one. And then it will give us 5 times Fahrenheit minus 32 equals 9 Celsius. And then let us divide this one by 9. So therefore, the, for, the value of C is Celsius equals 5 over 9 multiplied by the quantity of Fahrenheit minus 32. And this will be our answer. I hope you will learn from this lesson. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.